Hey everybody, it's Captain Drew Cavanaugh of Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters, and Florida Nearshore Fishing Charters, located here in East Central Florida. Um, today what we're going to do, um, I'm going to show you, um, we were fishing earlier today and we had a nice pompano bite and uh, my clients didn't want to keep anything so I decided to keep a fish for uh, Rochelle and I for dinner tonight. Um, um, I've eaten pompano my whole life, they're good, uh, they're considered a Florida delicacy. And I'm going to show you a quick recipe on one of the ways I like to cook it. Sometimes I fillet them, bake them. I've never really fried pompano. Um, I've always baked them whole. Uh, I know she likes them whole with the head on. Uh, so, you know, just depending on how you want to uh, eat it, this recipe is going to be on making a whole um, pompano. So just, you know, do a YouTube, look up how to clean them and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes you can buy them um, already cleaned and all that kind of stuff but i know she likes to eat the whole all the bones and all that kind of stuff so we're going to do this we're going to bake it in the oven i'm going to make some asparagus with it and i'll just show you a quick recipe right here real quick so what we're going to do is we're going to make some slices right here we're going to cross cut it just so that um uh you know it, the, the meat cooks it makes it easy to bring off okay so we'll do them about uh maybe inch apart or something doesn't have to be perfect And if anybody's interested in doing a fishing trip with me, just look up my website. Just give me a shout, and uh, we can go from there. Now, sometimes I'm torn on doing another cross section like this. Um, I usually only like to do it like one time sometimes. Um, you know, decide what you like to do, and uh, we can go from there. Some people do the cross. I like to do it like that. So let's see. We'll do one there. One there. Watch your fingers. One there. Oh. Ah, this knife's not the best to do this. This is not my fillet knife. This is just like a, a kitchen knife I use around here. All right, so there's that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer it to a pan, um, a glass uh, uh, um, oven safe uh, container, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna Take that glass container, we're going to put that aluminum foil like that. And then we're going to take our fish that we just, we're going to, we're going to take our fish that we just cut and cleaned. Just going to kind of lay it down right there. I hope that's enough aluminum foil. Um, basically this recipe, we're going to put the oven on around 375, uh, 400. Just, just, you know, different ovens, different, they kind of act differently. And we're going to wrap it in foil for about 20 minutes. Then we're going to take it out, unwrap it, and let it go another 10 minutes or so. So let me show you the spices that go on it. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut up some um, onion and uh, get some fresh oregano from the garden, some lemon. from I got lemons out here on the tree I'm going to bring in, and uh, a couple other things. So let me do that real quick. I'll bring that in. Okay, so um, the nice thing about this recipe is... Um, you can put inside your pompano whatever you like you know if you like bell peppers hot peppers chili peppers yellow onions red onions white onions um i went and picked some lemons off my tree believe it or not these are lemons not oranges uh they don't all look like the commercial photographic lemons that you see at the grocery store this is definitely a florida lemon off the tree there they're good very good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna salt and pepper the fish i'm gonna stuff inside of it um, I, I pulled some fresh oregano out of the herb garden. Um, got some sweet peppers here. And uh, we're going to stuff it up in there. The nice thing about pompano is that it is such a flavored fish that you don't want to over flavor it, over season it with other stuff. It's almost a type of fish that you can just bake the fish with nothing on it and it's good. So let's um, go ahead and we'll, we'll do this. Let's see here. I guess the first thing we're going to do is we're going to season it. We are going to salt and pepper. I just like using some fine sea salt. You know, just go up in there like that, get it all down in the grooves. You know, and on the inside, not too much. Open those slits up a little bit. No, nope. hang on one second. Just got some basic red pepper, or I'm sorry, some basic, it's hard doing this with the camera here. Some basic um, black pepper. 
Um, pompano is not an oily fish. Um, it's a really mild, sweet tasting fish, but it's gonna be tough to do. Oh, there we go. Got something in there good. I really don't like a whole lot of black pepper on it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couple pieces of butter on the bottom like that so the fish can sit on it because you're not going to turn the fish once it's in the oven you're going to let it just bake like this so now what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple pieces in there you know and you don't have to use butter if you don't want to if you're like on a diet or something you know we're going to take a handful of these onions i'm using green onions today i'm not using yellow onions just stuff those bad boys in there it's not rocket science you're not having to make this perfect you know, because the flavors are going to cook in there. I'm going to peel off some of that oregano. Put that like that. Now we're going to take some of these lemons, squeeze that lemon on there. Just drop that there. There. Get a couple of these lemons. Put them under there. That bad boy right there. Get a couple more of these onions. Pepper. We'll just take this lemon and set it right here for right now. And these other butters will just sit like this. All right. Now, so, sometimes when I do this, I put some garlic in there or something. Um, I think I'm going to make it pretty basic tonight. Uh, just kind of keep it, you know, all natural. Pompano is, like I said, it's one of the best fish out there. Let's put some more salt on there. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cover this. We're going to wrap this like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. See how I leave like a little slit like that open? That way that steam is not too overly steamed. Just like that. All right, just perfect. I like the fish a little bit crunchy. If I find that if you cover it all the way, it's really steamy and moist. I like a little bit of crunchiness on it. So and we're gonna put that in the oven. I'm gonna put asparagus around it. Let me get the asparagus out. Now you don't have to use asparagus. You don't even have to put anything in there. You could make your fish and for all I know, you got macaroni and cheese and a salad. I'm gonna put asparagus around the outside because I'm making me some asparagus tonight. So let me get that going here. All right, so now what I like about this asparagus is I like to do it like this, just kind of put it in there. Oh, there goes that one. And then the runoff juices, when I open that up and they bleed out, they will get into there. Mix that off. All right, so now what we'll do is I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of soy sauce on that asparagus. Now sometimes I land I line this pan with um, non-stick and then just a quick drizzle of some olive oil extra virgin olive oil I'm not going to put that on the fish. Okay. Yeah, I'm just using some Pompeii Bold. We could probably take some more of this oregano and just sprinkle it around there. So, I'm going to um, preheat the oven to 375. I think I'm going to do 375. Um, you can do 375, 400, 425. If you do 425, it's going to cook quicker. Just keep an eye on it. Try 375 for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna open this up. 
um, let all the juices overflow into the asparagus and then I'm going to put it back in there for 5, 10, 15 minutes uncovered and then that should be it. Like I said, I'm also going to make a baked potato with this. So I'm having asparagus, the pompano, and a baked potato. And you can do whatever you want. This is a really nice, simple recipe. Um, I've been eating pompano, God, since I was a child. My grandfather used to take me surf fishing, and I just love it. So, all right, so let's put this in the oven and see what it looks like here in a few minutes. Three seventy-five. Twenty minutes. All right, it's been right around twenty minutes. Let's get the gloves on here. Let's pull this bad boy out and see what it looks like. Move these. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wish smell could go through a GoPro. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. That smells so good. See, I like mine a lot more. Oh my god, that meat is so tender. Oh, it looks so good. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look how good that looks. That meat is tender. Holy cow. That's some juices to put on the potato. Hmm. Oh my God, that butter and salt. I know a lot of people like that head, that fish head. Right there, you just cut it down there. Oh my God, it looks so good. About two more minutes and it's good to go. Gonna get the potato off the grill. Look at that. That is good stuff. All the peppers are coming out. There you go.